Nossa! <risos> Well, friends, are you stuck at home making the same old meals? Are you feeling a little unmotivated? Well, meet Phil McKenzie from the Lean Squad. He makes healthy food a fun, and his attitude in life will have you feeling fantastic. Your Italian accent sounded like I, what I do in Italian I accent. Noises. It was so weird. Uh, from his fun recipe videos to his heartwarming family moments, you just feel great watching him love life. He's on Skype right now. He's going to share his favorite recipes. Welcome, <laughs> Phil, and congratulations on... The twins? Twins! Yes. yes, twins. Thank you. I, I'm sure that clip woke everyone up there, but thank Completely. you so much. Um, things are a little crazier than ever before, but it's amazing. It was literally the best weekend of our lives, so we, we were over the moon. Is it twin boys, twin girls, one of each? Twin boys. Aww. Twin boys. We've got three boys in the house now, uh, four including myself, so uh, my wife's officially outnumbered, and she yeah. is uh, officially a boy mom. Which means tons of mouths to feed, my friend, and you're doing it beautifully. <laughs> I've had cauliflower pizza before, which I like, but this is a whole new way of doing mm -hmm. it. So talk well, about... Sorry, yeah, the, the thing with cauliflower pizza that you buy in the stores, a lot of it has as many carbohydrates as your normal pizza. So it really kind of negates the, uh, the overall benefit of actually trying to get that cauliflower pizza. But this is an authentic cauliflower pizza. All right, let's get into it, man. Show us how it's okay, done. Okay, okay. Well, we'll get into it. So as everyone saw, I like to beef up. I get a little crazy. Uh, first thing you do to make a true, authentic cauliflower pizza is you get a head of cauliflower. Now, the slicing, the beefs and bobs are definitely optional. I like to do big things, and you're going to get a slice like that. So this Ooh. is going to form our cauliflower pizza, and this is what you are left with. Whoa, oh, right oh. here. Nice. That hand on. Good hand. Right there. And this is going to form our cauliflower pizza, and it's literally cauliflower. So it's filled with nutrients, really healthy, and you know exactly what is in it. And then, once you've got your cauliflower pizza, you've got a pan over there. The oven is set to 425, and this is where I like to get excited. Uh, I've got my kids around, throwing food, eats, bops, boops. You pop, pop it on the pan, and we're just going to throw it in the oven for a few minutes there. Phil, what did you and put then, in the pan? Oil? Is it nonstick spray? What did you put in the beef? Oh, oil? yeah, sorry. We got olive oil, and you top it off with a little bit of olive oil. I got a little excited there. Sorry, I'll rewind it quickly. Rewind but, uh, it. Rewind it. Ready. Come again, Selector. I completely right. skipped a step. I completely skipped a step. So thank you for it. So just drizzle a little bit of olive oil as well on the pan, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that is really all there is to it. And then we're going to pop it in the oven, 425 for 10 to 12 minutes, yeah. just like that. And then we're gonna pull it out and flip it and do the same again for another 10 to 12 minutes. And what you're gonna be left with, sorry, I skipped the soup steps because I know this is a short segment, is your roasted cauliflower. It's gonna come out perfectly. Yum. And after it does, you're gonna top it with some simple healthy ingredients, mozzarella, obviously, and some marinara sauce here, pizza sauce, and you can choose your toppings. This is what I really believe uh, is the key to eating healthy forever is not feeling restricted. I hate feeling restricted. I like having freedom in when I cook and really just experimenting with things. So you can add mushrooms, you can add chicken, you can add whatever you want to your pizza, but this is a roasted cauliflower parm pizza here. You yeah. drizzle a little bit or top it off with a little bit of basil and look what you're left with right there. That is a true authentic lean cauliflower pizza right there. Do you put How's that, that back to broil to melt it all down? Yeah, you put it in after you pull it out, after you flip it, call it a flippy, uh, it goes back in for 10 to 12 minutes. You pull it out, top it with the mozzarella, the parm, and whatever else, vegetables or chicken, and you broil it for two to three minutes. And this is what you're going to be left with here. It is really, really so good, super Yum. easy to do. I'll link everything with the instructions because I do have a couple other uh recipes I want to show you guys real quick if we have time. Yeah, yes, we want to get to dessert, man, because people just sometimes skip all, you know, the, the main course just to get to that sweetness. So let's get to it. Okay, okay. So, yeah, exactly. Right now, I know people are snacking more than ever. So I'm going to show you a sugar-free Reese's peanut butter cup. Mm. We have almonds, raw almonds here. Look at those just basic ingredients. Again, straight into your food processor, a quarter cup of rolled oats, and all we do is mix this up. Now, before I mix it up, I'm going to tell you the secret to staying healthy for the rest of your life. So make sure you listen up. Yes, please. <laughs> Hopefully you guys caught that. Oh, my gosh. Um, That's a great that secret. secret. I revealed everything. <laughs> literally, all you do is take this mix and you put it into a nice big bowl like that. It's called a beef and bop. And then we've got some other healthy ingredients here that we're going to add. 
Obviously, nut butter, one of my favorites, filled with healthy fats, keeps you energized, fueled for a really long time, and keeps you satiated. So you're not gonna wanna constantly snack throughout the day without spiking your blood sugar. So, again, I'm a little loose with the measurements, but I'll link all of the proper measurements for you guys because I know it is very important. A little bit of vanilla, Yum. just a dash, just like that. And what you're gonna end up getting, and here is a secret ingredient as well. I always try and look for ingredients that cut the sugar, but still give us the same great taste. This is Walden's Farm Maple Syrup. If you haven't tried this, it is amazing. It is sugar-free. So nice. normal maple syrup is packed, filled with sugar. You can literally have as much of this as you want, and you're getting all that sweetness, and it gives you that taste of sweetness, because you don't want to feel restricted, right? When Where you do we get that? Where do we get that? Walden's Farm? Walden's Farms, yeah, on Amazon, it is there. I've linked it in my Amazon okay. shop as well. Um, it truly is one of my go-to ingredients. Always stock up on it. And a lot of these ingredients, especially right now, keep good for a long time. So once you make this mix, um, what we're gonna do next, is you've got some coconut oil, we're gonna add as well. And then we're mixing it all up. Yeah. And I'm gonna pull out a muffin cup. So I'm gonna skip a few steps here, just to make sure we're gonna pack it full. So you mix everything together. And then we're forming the base of our muffin cups here, just like that. In it goes to the bottom. It's gonna be a little thicker than right there. I know I'm under time here, so I'm really doing my best to go as fast as I can. And then what happens is, we're gonna make a sugar-free chocolate sauce. So what it is, is three tablespoons of coconut oil, three tablespoons, again, of the Walden's Farm maple syrups, and two tablespoons of cacao powder. So that gives you the chocolatey flavor and then you drizzle it on top of your muffin base and then they go in the freezer. And let me show what you come out with. And you eat them all at once. <laughs> this is what you guys come out with. I wish you could taste them because oh, this is so totally do we. Looks Same. like a Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup, but this is a lean Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, taste this test is so for amazing. Us. Look, you can fill up if the muffin cup. You know how good this tastes. Look at that. Oh, come you fill on. Up, you can fill up the muffin cup and not worry about the muffin top. That's what he's got hey. going on for you right there. <laughs> Bill, where can we find you, my dude? Well, so if you guys check out Instagram, Lean Squad, that's where I live, um, as well as www.lean-squad.com. Uh, all my custom meal plans, recipes, workouts there. And as well, I'm also on YouTube. I've done a free Four Lean Seven Day Challenge, where you work out for just 20 minutes, seven days alongside me. And I really think this time right now, while we're in quarantine, is a great time to focus and invest in your self-help. Uh, for me, you know, eating right, it'll make you feel more energized, more positive outlook, and really help reduce those stress levels. So all these ingredients, really healthy, super easy to do. And you know what? All of us can beat the bop, the bop, the bop. There it is, hey. Phil McKenzie. Thank you so much. Shout out to your camera person as well. Thank you again. Great job. We'll be back with more BT after this. Hey.